Hey guys, it's Ben. How was your week? Mine was okay. Uh, as far as life goes, it was wonderful. Uh, a lot of good things happen in my life right now, and I'm really appreciating them, I think, more now than I ever have. Uh, but health-wise, things were a little bit different. Uh, not health per se, but I'm on Monjaro for my diabetes, right? Mostly. Uh, <laughs> between you and me, I also needed to be on it for my weight loss, but primarily my doctor put it on for my diabetes. And I didn't need to lose the weight because when I first started this stuff, I had lost weight down from 240 pounds to 50 thereabouts, whatever, down to about 220. Uh, and I all lost it all the way down to like 180, 190. And that's where I plateaued at. Uh, and I thought that that was it for me. I was kind of a chubby dude and I was in my 50s and I figured, okay, that's about normal, right? Uh, so one day I woke up, wasn't feeling so good, went to my doctor. She said, hey man, you're diabetic. I need to put you on something immediately because you're very diabetic. My blood sugars were out of range. It was like 474. I know that there are people that have been higher than that, but that's high. Uh, and my A1C was 10.6, I think. I think that was like 10.6. So she put me on Monjaro uh, and here we are all these weeks later and uh, I have lost a lot of weight. I'm down from 180, 190. Last week's weight was, let me look, 159.6 was last week's weight. So that's big time loss for me especially. Man, I tried it all. All the dieting, the water pills, you know, all that. The hydro cut, all that stuff. None of it worked. It all worked. I should say it all worked until I quit taking it because it was making me sick. And then I gained it all back again, right? Uh, I want this time to be different, but I have some, I have some worries. Let's put it that way. We're going to talk about it later on uh, in the video. I have these worries that I'm just now beginning to come to terms with. I'm a pretty smart guy. You would have thought I would have thought about these before I started taking this medication. But the fact is I was in such a bad state health wise. I would have taken just about anything my doctor told me to take. That's exactly uh, where I started. And I'm glad that she put me on this Monjaro. And I'm going to say, I think it's probably going to save my life. I'm feeling way better. I'm way healthier now than I was 40 pounds ago, 50 pounds ago. Uh, and my blood sugar is way down. I do have an issue though. Uh, now look, I was supposed to do a video for you guys this week. Let me just clear the air real quick because there's people out there saying, hey man, Where's the video about what you eat in a day, all right? Where's that, where's that video? You said you were gonna do it, and where is it? Uh, well, gonna have to put it off a little bit longer, you guys, I'm really sorry. The thing is, my wife and I went out in the RV last weekend. We took a trip up to a place called Little Sahara State Park. It's in Winoka, Oklahoma, and you'd never believe. It looks like the it looks like the Sahara Desert, really, seriously, with the dunes and everything. We had a blast, and we ended up staying a little extra. Uh, and when I got back, I had all this work from work to catch up on, and I just haven't had a time to do a video on what I eat for a day, but I promise it's coming soon. So this will be the first time that I've weighed myself since last Thursday. I only do it once a, once a week. Somebody mentioned also, I should say, they said, hey, Ben, if you uh, don't wear your shirt and you take off your flannel pajamas and you don't wear socks and you don't have anything in your pockets and take your bracelet off and stuff, you could probably, you know, make that weight another pound and a half light, lighter or so. And I guess I could. But the, the problem with that is, is I started off exactly like this in a t-shirt, flannel pajamas and these thin socks that I'm wearing all the time. Uh, that's my standard, right? That's where I started all those weeks ago, and here we are. If I were to change it up now, it'd kind of be cheating the numbers, right? So I'm gonna keep the same clothes on. The, the point is not how much I've lost, it's that I'm losing, right? It's not, I'm not at a race for the finish. I'm getting there though, as far as the weight goes. Uh, and But that's when the hard part starts, y'all. That's when the maintenance part uh, begins. And I know it's hard because I've already started trying to do it, and it's, it's a balancing act and we're gonna get into it, but let's talk about the stuff this week. People tune in to see my blood sugars and my weight, so here we go. My blood sugar average this week, disappointingly, right? Disappointingly, uh, 121. 
Right. Some people are going to say 121. That's not bad blood sugar, Ben. That's not bad. That's not terrible. Uh, but my doctor said, Ben, I'd really like you between 90 and 100. And that's what I'm trying to do because she's super sweet. Uh, and I want to be as healthy as I can be. So 121 is 11 points out of that. So uh, I was supposed to call my doctor last Monday. But like I said, we stayed at uh, Little Sahara and I didn't get back in time to do anything. I was supposed to call my doctor uh, on Monday when I got back from Little Sahara. But the thing is, is my blood sugars have been dropping since last Thursday, right? So Friday, uh, Thursday, last Thursday, I told you they were high that morning. Uh, Friday, they were lower. Saturday, they were lower. Sunday, they were even lower, right? They just kept starting to drop. And I attributed that to not eating my salty peanut protein bar every day, right? and not having a premier protein shake once a day. Cause I haven't done that since last Monday, or since last Thursday, I haven't done any of this stuff because I was worried about those blood sugar numbers going out, going up. And I thought that this was to blame for it. And I thought this was to blame for it, but I don't think it is because I've been off both of those things for a week and my blood sugar remains high. In fact, my blood sugar average this week, uh, 121. Last week it was 117.75 and I was worried about it then. It's even higher now. So my doctor's getting a call tomorrow. Friday, I'm gonna give her a call uh, and say, I need to at least come in or at least speak with you about maybe going from five milligrams to 7.5. I know a lot of people out there are saying 121, that's not bad, Ben, but for a diabetic it is. Uh, when you've been maintaining between 90 and 100 for the last, what, 21, 22 weeks, and it jumps like that all of a sudden, it's alarming and it's got me, you know, uh, wondering what's going on here because I don't want to start moving up again. So I'm going to talk to my doc uh, tomorrow about elevating my dose to 7.5 from 5 milligrams. So that's out of the way. Uh, the weight uh, last week, 159.6. You'll remember I gained like a pound. Uh, actually, it was 1.8 pounds, almost two pounds last week. Uh, and that was another thing that I was worried about. Uh, where's this weight gain coming from? And honestly, I was a little bit more peckish last week. Uh, not so much this week, uh, curiously, but uh, maybe I was just uh, binging on these salty peanut uh, bars, which are awesome, by the way, if you don't have diabetes. Uh, actually, I don't think they affected it at all. Uh, so maybe I can start back up on my salty peanut uh, protein bars a couple of times a week because they're, they're really a treat. So all week my blood sugar uh, has been dropping, dropping, dropping. And then this morning it kind of elevated. It went up a little bit this morning. So that kind of tells me things aren't exactly copacetic in the diabetes department as far as Monjaro is concerned and my body. So we're going to talk to the doc. Uh, Got some comments this week. I wanted to go over some comments with you guys uh, from this week, some really good comments. And by the way, you guys that are that were defending me for saying uh, Monjaro incorrectly, uh, and I'm gonna say it incorrectly again. I've been, I've been calling it Monjaro for you guys that don't know. And there was a person that was kind of upset in the comments about that. I don't know why, uh, but they were. And I'm going to try to pronounce it Monjaro uh, for that one person. But I got to be honest with you. Uh, I was watching an Aussie newscaster and they kind of pronounced it Monjaro too. Monjaro was released in Australia last year. So sounded like Monjaro anyway. Uh, didn't sound like Monjaro. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we got some Australians out there in the uh, comments section that can chime in. Uh, how the Australians say it. Anyway, gonna have to put my ciphers on. I really do need to get my eyes checked. Uh, a diabetic should have their eyes checked once a year and I probably haven't had mine checked in four or five years, maybe even longer. I know it's terrible, uh, but we're gonna get it done because my wife found out that I haven't had them checked in a couple of years and she made us an appointment. Uh, at Casimir897 says, I'm on Monjero. Uh, I've slowly become more and more resistant to it on 2.5 milligrams. You're going to, the 2.5 milligrams, I don't know where they get this phrase from, but a lot of people call it a loading dose. And that's to say that uh, 
you inject it into your body and your body kind of gets used to the drug. And it's also for the, the 2.5 milligram dose is what my doctor told me is also uh, to see how well your body tolerates the drug itself. So uh, you're probably due, you've been on it for a while, you're probably due to go up to five milligrams. Definitely, I would talk to my doctor about it and see what they have to say. Uh, as in any time you're thinking about making a change, you should talk to your doctor. Well, you got to anyway, because you need to get the bigger prescription. But that's probably what it is. You've probably become accustomed to it and bodies do do that. Like uh, I was talking earlier how I'm on the five milligram dose, have been uh, for quite some time now, but now it seems like it's not working as well as it used to. So I think it's just the effectiveness is kind of wearing off and it's time for me to go to 7.5. At Rita Hart 3868 says, I've been on this dose since 2019 because I was told an old fracture in my back. What? She's been on the dose, a five milligram dose since 2019 because her doctor told her that she had a fracture in her back. That doesn't make too much sense to me. And I think maybe I would go talk to maybe a different doctor a beauty addict says, I wonder after hearing your blood sugar going up and what she wonders what's going to happen really once I get to the 15 milligram dose and my body gets used to the 15 milligram dose. She asked, could you ask my doctor please? And I will ask her because, you know, this is a weird thing. I didn't even consider this, right? When I was on the 2.5 moving up to the 5, I was like, that's just normal, right? Now I'm on the 5 moving up to the 7.5. I hadn't really considered that until, uh, until a beauty addict brought it up. Uh, now I'm kind of like wondering what does happen when I get up to 15 milligrams. I use it to control my diabetes mostly at this point. My weight loss, uh, I'm getting there, right? I'm within, last week I was within my goal weight of 150 to 160, top end, but I was within it, right? I'm hoping I am today. I forgot to weigh myself, you guys. People were waiting for me to weigh myself. So right after I discuss this, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm very sorry. Please pardon my ADHD. So yeah, that does have me concerned because what does happen when you hit that maximum dose and after, you know, a couple of months, your body becomes accustomed to it and it stops working. What does happen then? There's no higher dose than 15 milligrams. Are they planning to go higher or what's the situation? Uh, inquiring minds want to know. I know there's people out there that have reached that 15 milligram dose and they've been on it for quite a while. Maybe you can chime in in the comments. That'd be really helpful. Okay. Sorry, you guys that are waiting for my weight. <laughs> Maybe I'm subconsciously putting it off because maybe I think I've gained some weight this week. Maybe I have. Uh, it's not that I've been eating terrible. That's not entirely true. We went RV camping last weekend and I had two chili dogs. They were delicious. Uh, but I, what I didn't tell you is I spread them out over two days. I had one on Friday for dinner and then I ate the next one uh, Saturday for lunch. My wife made me two because I used to eat two. Actually, that's a lie. I used to eat like two or three of them. Uh, with fries and, and chips and all the extra shit that comes with it. Uh, but now I can barely eat one chili dog and that's good enough. That's a, that's a pretty good meal for me with the chili on it and the cheese, the bun and the, and the hot dog. That does it. That's pretty good. Uh, and they did. They were, they were very delicious. Anyway, here we go again with the ADHD. Sorry guys. Let's get on with it. All right, here we go. Uh, am I worried about this weigh-in? The answer is not really. Uh, if I went over my maximum weight, uh, that's another thing that I need to talk to my doctor about because the Manjaro is definitely not working if that's the case. Because besides the two chili dogs, I've really been watching what I eat this week very, very closely. My, cal uh, my calorie intakes is, is where it needs to be for weight loss, uh, for my personal weight loss and I haven't even been eating any kind of junky foods besides those two hot dogs, chili dogs. So here we are, 158.8. 158.8 makes me really happy. It really does because I was kind of worried that I'd gained a couple of pounds because I was kind of worried that the five milligram stuff had stopped working for me. It still is working, uh, just not as efficiently, right? But I still managed to drop some weight. Uh, this week. I'm very happy with that. Uh, 
So you guys that were getting into the comments and I had to jump back to the wait, I apologize. And for you guys that had to wait for the wait because I jumped into the comments early, I apologize. But let's get back to the comments, shall we? Because there's some good ones this week. And by the way, you guys, uh, thanks for all the encouraging comments as well. I've already thanked you for defending me. Uh, but now, thank you for the encouraging comments. You have no idea how much they mean to me. And they really do encourage me and they keep me on task, man. I think of you guys... When I'm thinking about doing something stupid, like having a salty peanut protein bar when I'm not sure if they're elevating my sugars or not, I think of you guys and I think, let's put it off, right? Uh, because I'd hate to have to face you guys with terrible numbers and then say, oh, and I was still eating these salty peanut protein bars and eating all kinds of sugar and I'm not doing that. So here's the thing too. Uh, I'm worried now that I'm going to be going up on the 7.5 milligram dose with all these shortages out there. And if you guys hadn't heard, <laughs> I don't know where you're living, uh, but there are some severe shortages worldwide with this stuff. Uh, how they didn't anticipate the absolutely overwhelming demand for this kind of a drug, it just flabbergasts me. Uh, maybe I need to be in charge of these pharmaceuticals. Maybe I need to be like the CEO because if somebody would have brought this drug to me and told me what this drug is going to do, I would have said, we need to start loading up right now. We need to build like 18 more factories, right? Immediately, because this is going to be in demand, big demand. And guess what? It was. Uh, and now there are shortages. And I'm worried that I won't be able to get my 7.5 dose. But I've had a lot of comments <laughs> that are suggesting things that maybe will be a solution that I also need to ask my doctor about. At SCS37716 says, if you can't get the 7.5, since you have a two month supply of five, couldn't you get 2.5 and take two shots? He's saying take the five and take the 2.5 and that's a 7.5. I don't know if it works that way. Uh, the reason I don't know if it works that way is because I don't know if the injection needs to be in the same location in order to be effective. Because it seems like if I inject one here and I inject one, you know, a couple inches away, I don't know. I'm going to ask my doctor if this is a practice that, that she would recommend. Uh, if it is, I'm totally on board with that because I do have a box of 2.5 and I am now down to my last box of 5. So I do have enough. 7.5 to go a month, right? Which is awesome. So hopefully my doctor's going to say, absolutely, you know, just inject away everywhere you want to. 7.5, a 5 here, 2.5 there, wherever. Uh, hopefully she says that. Uh, I'm asking you guys out there in YouTube land though, uh, what do you do? Uh, has anybody out there done this? Has anybody out there uh, been short on their dose and they needed to combine two shots to make it? If you wouldn't mind, if you could comment uh, and let us know if that is a viable solution, right? If it worked for you. If you did it and it worked, I'd love to know it. Rose Whaley 3588 says, Hey Ben, this might be a dumb idea, but maybe take 5 milligrams plus uh, 2.5 milligram. I don't know, something ask the doctor. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, thanks for those comments and those suggestions. You guys are amazing. I didn't talk about my side effects this week because... I really haven't had any side effects. There's been no, no side effects, no constipation, uh, no headaches, no nausea, nothing. Uh, nothing that I had in the past, nothing new, uh, just a beautiful week, right? The only problem is uh, blood sugar's a little elevated. Weight's down, blood sugar's elevated. So uh, anyway, uh, there was another thing that came up um, a couple of months ago, and that was my foot. I found out that I've got OA in my foot and that's osteoarthritis, right? You see the commercial on the TV for the dog shoes, uh, for the dogs, the OA dog shoes, so they can, because they got OA in their hips and stuff. That's what I got, but it's in my foot and it's very painful. And in fact, I couldn't even walk on it when it, when it first came up. I went and saw a podiatrist and my podiatrist put me on 300, uh, milligrams of gabapentin three times a day. So that worked for maybe five days and I went back two weeks later and saw him and by then my foot had really started hurting again. It just seemed like gabapentin wasn't working. So 
I said, is there another drug that you can put me on? And he said, listen, have you seen those commercials on TV on Revoke? On Revoke? And I said, I have seen those. The side effects seem pretty outrageous. And he said, that's why I didn't put you on that. And that's why I put you on the gabapentin. He goes, so what we're going to do this week uh, is we're going to up your dose. He upped me from 300 milligrams three times a day to 600 milligrams three times a day. And that's barely working. I must say, I'm sleeping through the night most nights. I woke up out of the last week. I've woken up twice this week in the middle of the night with severe foot pain. It just really hurts. It gets me out of bed. And the only way to remedy it is to put some weight on it, right? I know that sounds crazy. And I'm on all this gabapentin. And I know it's probably not good for my liver. Uh, you guys that have OA out there, what do you want? What, what's, what are you using that's helping you? And it doesn't need to be a prescription. I just need some relief, man. My foot is just killing me. And uh, I want to address at why not Tony's comment. By the way, thanks for the kind words in it. Uh, he says the gabapentin's notorious for hunger and increase in weight gain. So I looked it up and it's true. Uh, I didn't, it's not that I didn't believe you, Tony. It's just that, you know, you got to verify and now I'm going to talk to my doctor about it too. Although I haven't gained any weight this week, I've noticed that I have been hungrier, but uh, through willpower, right? Uh, something that I'm going to need uh, more of uh, if that 15 milligrams is going to be wearing out on me. Through willpower, I was able to like say, nah, I don't want that, right? I was able to shoo the voices in my head telling me that I need that bag of Doritos that's in the camper that was left over from last year. I didn't need to, and I didn't. Uh, I was able to stave it off. Now, forgive me if I'm not saying you guys' names right. It's, it's not that I don't mean to, but you guys know that I can't pronounce anything correctly. At the Alejandra, 8814 says, Gabapentin can put weight on. Uh, thankfully, not yet on me, but I believe you, and I've fact-checked that, and that's a true statement, right? So... Uh, I'm going to be watching the Gabba Pentons. All right, guys, it's time for this week's injection. I'm going to be injecting the five milligram uh, auto injector pen Monjaro. Uh, I probably should be injecting the 7.5, but we're going to talk to my doc about that. Anyway, uh, so here we are. This is where I, this is what I'm working with, you guys. Uh, I've lost uh, a little bit more weight, but I got to tell you, it's not the weight that I'm noticing as much as it is this, this definition that I'm starting to get. I know for some of you guys, this isn't definition at all, but for me, this hasn't been a, this hasn't been a thing for like 30 years. I'm not sure where this came from. And I think these are ribs. Here we go. We're cleaning it with the alcohol swab uh, for that guy that was telling me that I should do that. I do that every time now. And I do appreciate you telling me I should do that. And I wish I could have left your comment up, but you know, live and learn. Anyway, here we go. Montero five milligrams. I took the end cap off. I have sanitized myself. Uh, here's the thing. There's a little lock unlock switch at the top. It's just a little twisty. You twist it counterclockwise, that unlocks it. So now it's armed. If I push this purple button at the end, it's going to send a plunger down the length of this shaft and it's going to inject me with five milligrams of sweet, sweet Manjaro. I'm telling you, I'm crediting this stuff with extending my life. I think I'm right. Anyway, here we go. In three, two, one, five milligrams of Manjaro on its way to Ben's belly. Bam. Now you heard two clicks when I push the button and when it finished, that second click is done. You can look down and see a gray plunger. If you see it, you're done. That's it for this week, you guys. Thanks for sticking around.